Another thing as part of machine learning import statement is you need to be aware of this asterisk import method. So what this does is it brings over every single function, variable, property from this module over to your code and makes it available in your, what I would say is the namespace. So what we mean is it just makes it available in your code. So when you do this, you can, uh, there are two ways to do it. One, which is using this method over here. And you can see we're bringing in the square root function and we bring in the pi value. So you that you know when you look at this code you know that from the math we bring in square root and the pi when you do it this way the code is very readable but when you do it this way you don't know what you are bringing in and what you are overwriting so here for example if you have pi over here but you, we know pi also exists within this math module what happens is we're overwriting its value when we overwrite it and we print it you get the output like this it says oops because you have actually overwritten the previous value from math.pi but if i comment this out and run this again you can see we get the actual pi value over here this is because we haven't overwritten it now this method over here is very unclear while this syntax is very clear you know that you're bringing in pi from there so i would avoid using this method and instead use this so you know pi actually comes from there so then even if you overwrite it you go oh actually i am overwriting pi over here so it just makes it easier to define problem then bugs with your code so this code will actually still work you can see that it overrides it but when you comment it out it does use the pi value from there but by using asterisk you're not really sure whether actually you're overwriting an existing function from this module but if you use this syntax even when you look at it you go oh i'm importing pi but then i'm overwriting uh, pi over here so going back to again different styles of import statements you can see you can import like this the full library like that and again you can do that with this one you can import to be very precise you can import math that, and to prevent accidental overrides of of variables you can import the math library like this and call it as mt and then what you can do is you don't have to use the alias so you can just leave it as math if you want but if you do it as mt then what you can do is you can refer to this as mt dot pi and notice this one is now different to that so even though we are overwriting it uh, what will happen is when we run this our value is coming from mt pi versus if you were to just take that uh, empty part out and then you can see it's say, overwritten and use this pi over here rather than that one so you bring this variable in it basically becomes part of your code and then you can change that to anything you want but using this method you can just do that but you remember you don't have to use the alias so you can actually just you know refer to it as math.py and that still works and your code works like this and we get the right hand